Hey y'all, happy Motivational Monday. I wanna encourage you about um, a few things. One, think about the words Jesus and think about the word home. All right, so I'm gonna try really hard not to stray off because my mind is going so many different directions, but I'm gonna stay focused and I wrote it down so I can just stay focused on some points here. And some of these will probably branch off into some journal entries later on for the written portion. But yesterday on my way to church, I haven't been to my home church in a long time because we've been away and while we're away we go to a church somewhere else but I was so excited to be going to my home church. Well on the way there there's a little church that I pass by and they have a sign in the front and it simply says Jesus. And I just smile every time I go by it. It's been there for a while. Sometimes it was gone away, then it was back again. I just love that because sometimes no matter what you're going through, Jesus is all you really need to say. Whether it is um, a time of joy you're going through or a time of heartache or a time of just exhaustion or mental, physical, spiritual, what have you, sometimes you don't know what to say. Jesus is all you can say, whatever emotion conjures up there, because he knows your heart, he knows your mind, he knows every part of you. And so I wanna make sure that you realize that, you know what, sometimes just crying out or simply saying, Jesus is all you need. And really he's all we need in life, and that is something else that came upon me yesterday. Um, Yesterday was just one of those good fill me up days where you know like whenever you go on a trip you gotta have gas in your car to get to where you're going. Well, you gotta have that with, with church too. Don't just get your church from um, a TV or a radio if you are able to go somewhere. Go, fellowship with others. Give those hugs and the handshakes and the high fives and just sing. So yesterday on my way, my mom was thinking about a lot of different things, family, self, um, desires in life, for myself, for my family, what have you, and just thinking about so many different things. Well then, when I got in church and I was just saying Jesus in my mind, he revealed something to me and he's like, Stephanie, you are trying to live for me and live for others because I like to encourage and help and serve other people. But what God was telling me is serve me alone, serve God alone. Because when I serve God alone, everything else is gonna fall into place. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. We're told to do that. So whenever you go to please God and God alone, all that loving your neighbor, all that taking care of others, it's just gonna come naturally, but your main focus is on God. And I had kinda gotten off and wanting to make sure that I'm doing what others are wanting to do because in my nature, I like being around people anyhow. So the quality time, that's one of my spiritual gifts, I understand. Well. I, I kind of got in my mindset that that's what I need to do is being around others and making sure others are helping, being taken care of too. But God's like, Psst, hey, just focus on me because everything else is going to be okay. Focus on me. So Jesus is all I really needed to hear. Then um, Sarah Godheim, this precious girl at church. I love her music and the ministry she does. She's so precious and has such a sweet heart. Well then whenever she started leading us into singing Reckless Love by Corey Asbury. Love that song. Tears streaming down my face as again, thoughts were going through my mind. And then God just kept saying, okay, this is all good, this is all good. You can think about everybody else. You can think about yourself, but focus on me. Focus on me alone. Jesus, that's all you need. And then Tommy Warnock, my dear friend, he's our associate pastor and he got it to preach yesterday and I was all giddy because I just love hearing my Tommy preach. Well, he said something and I wrote it down. He said, um, knowing about something is different than really knowing something. And that's so true. Do you know God or do you just know about God? And I've written about this before. But getting back into my home church, 
being fed by the music and the preaching and then just even driving there, getting back to my Christian radio, it's just refreshing. It's like gasoline in the car before you go on a trip. But don't just gas up that one time on a Sunday. Make sure that you are being filled up with Jesus every day. And then another thing that, um, that God was revealing to me was how I need to, I think I already just told you this, but how I need to make sure that I'm living for him because I wrote that down. It said, stop living, stop living for God and others and live for God alone. And so I wrote it down. So it spoke to my heart. So I hope it speaks to your heart. So a couple of things. Make sure you realize that Jesus, you can even say it that way, <laughs> besides Jesus or Jesus. All you got to do is just say his name and he's going to know your heart. Call upon him in whatever situations you may be going through in life. And make sure that you seek him first above everything else. And I want to leave you with Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Because remember, we think we know everything that we got to do in our lives for ourselves. But Jesus really knows everything. And he knows all of us. In Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Not just a little piece of it, a little bit, a little bit. Not even half, but all your heart. Trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. So I want to encourage you to simply say Jesus and to focus on God. Let God bring you home. Bring him home to him and just embrace the joy that he has for you. That's it. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.